while collecting data uh, every researcher spends a significant amount of money uh, and time uh, you know xeroxing or you know uh, creating photocopies of uh, the interview schedule or the questionnaire so it's it's time consuming and it also um, you know you have you waste a lot of paper and uh, and you know it's it's not eco friendly at all so um, i've developed this short technique uh, it's rather a trick that you could use to collect data My students might find this very useful especially so uh, for this purpose we are going to go to uh, google forms so google forms if you may not be uh, if you're not aware of it is actually a it's basically where you can basically collect data from it's 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 online and uh, anyone with the link can actually fill in the data so let's go and create a new you need all you need is a google account to create this so it's not a problem now we'll just go create a new um, form so just click on new form over there so you can give it a title let's say um, mental health yeah so that's the title and uh, you can you know give some uh, description about this this is for example uh, this is a study on the mental health of youth something like that and you can give some instructions you know uh, please be as honest as possible and uh, please be as honest as possible your responses are anonymous yeah something like that where the respondents uh, are comfortable in answering your uh, uh, your questionnaire your interview schedule and then you can add on the questions so let's say I'm saying gender okay so here you can have male you can have female you know And so on yeah and then uh, you need to click this required so that sometimes what required this this option over here because sometimes what happens is that people tend to skip a question when you give it online so uh, so that so when you click this on so they can't re re submit the questionnaire or the interview schedule without um, answering this question so required is something that almost all the major questions should have so all you have to do is um, what I did there was just click duplicate and then you know you can just edit it you can say uh, mm, let's say about uh, uh, age yeah and then uh, if you want you can also have a short answer or a paragraph rather than just uh, you know so they can type what they want over here okay so um, or they, you can have a long paragraph okay that's that's another option or you can have a checkbox there's so many other options you can just uh, and you also have a linear scale where you can answer one to five but uh, usually people like to use this uh, I like to use the multiple choice ones yeah so whatever it is so like this uh, what you need to do is you need to enter the your uh, interview schedule the questions that you have in the interview schedule as well as the scale if possible let's say you're doing a study on uh, mental health so if there is a scale on mental health you can enter the questions over here and then the uh, options over here the answers for them yeah so once you're done with it you can go here and click send right so there uh, you have this option called uh, send via link yeah there's a there's a small link over there you can shorten the URL it look makes it look uh, prettier or you could just have a long link it's up to you so shorter links are you know looks it looks much better so you can just copy it and then uh, go paste it and send it via email and anyone with the link can uh, answer those questions Okay, so we are back on the phone now and uh, we are basically going to open up the uh, Google form, the link to the Google form that we sent ourselves via mail. So this is the uh, the link that we sent. So we click this or open it in the browser, you know, whatever form you'd like to open it with. So now uh, we have the Google form over here. Now there are two ways of doing this. Uh, one way is to uh, send the link that I just showed you, the Google form link with the decent uh, subject and mail and all of that to your respondent and asking them to fill it up uh, that's the questionnaire method uh, the questionnaire method has its advantages but one disadvantage is, is that one disadvantage is that people generally uh, don't respond well they have a tendency not to respond to it uh, or they just you know put it in the back burner and they don't they take a long time 
to think about responding to those questions and uh, so basically there's a low rate of response and all of that and uh, the other option the other option is that uh, you do an interview method where you just go collect the data directly from the respondent now both have their own uh, advantages and disadvantages but let's assume that we are going to do the interview method so you take this uh, google form open the link to google form and give it to your respondent so that they fill it up or you can ask them so it can go both ways so let's say i'm filling this up i am a respondent so we say male age uh, okay 28 and you go how often do you feel depressed sometimes sometimes okay angry okay very often right and then i click uh, submit and done so the response has been sent now it's very important for you to uh, what you have to do is you need to uh, clear this uh, uh, this this form yeah so just go to home click on the uh, side box and then you know clear it up clear it up or just click the clear button with the x button at the bottom you know, however you clear the apps in your phone yeah again you go back for the next respondent you go back to your mail and then you click on the google form link yeah this is for the other respondent so the other respondent can now uh, you know respond to the questions that you said uh, yeah so let's say i am uh, uh, again I'm, I'm, I'm a female and then my age is uh, again uh, 25 and then often very often sometimes and so on and then i click submit yeah so the respondent is recorded so like this uh, you can you know ask as many respondents as you like and collect the data without using any and the data and the data that you uh, you know what they have sent it will be recorded so we'll look at that in the next part of the video okay so uh, we are back to uh, the computer so now our respondents have all uh, responded to the uh, questionnaire that we sent them so let's now uh, go to google forms to uh, check out uh, you know the responses that we have got go to google forms and we sign in with our account and then you'll uh, find the google form that has been filled uh, so this is the one that we sent and as you can see on the right side you have the responses and voila all the responses are there and the beautiful thing about this is you also get the statistics the graphs and the charts that you can use you know for example you know you're in a hurry and you need to show this graph to someone you can just uh, take a screenshot so in so just you know select this part take a screenshot of this and then uh, yeah and you can include it in your report or uh, you know whatever you like so that's how you do it there uh, on the other hand now if you want to do some kind of uh, advanced statistics we got to export this data into Google Sheets into uh, an Excel format. So you just click on this particular link over here. Yeah, which says uh, View in Sheets. Yeah, and then uh, you this this will open up. And here you have you you need to go to File and Download. Now in Download you have this Microsoft Excel. So click on Microsoft Excel. So I don't have Excel on my uh, MacBook, so I have numbers, so similar software. So uh, we just click on that, yeah, and we'll open up the, uh, yeah, so here we have it. Uh, now, uh, if you want to do some serious statistics with this, uh, 50 responses, uh, you need to convert this into numbers. So I know there is an option for many in many softwares where you can just convert the responses into numbers. Uh, uh, or sometimes what we usually do is we need to manually sit and type, you know. So for example, it says sometimes, so we need to say we need to give the code for it, it's like four, one, two. So you know we need to convert this into numbers, which is a sort of a long process. Uh, before that, I would like to point out that uh, when you look at these questions, there's a small uh, error over here. So when you say never, very often, sometimes, regularly, it's not on a linear path you know so it should be something like never uh, very rarely sometimes and regularly or something like that but since just just a test uh, question that i developed you know so you can just ignore that uh, here we have this data over here now we need to convert it into numbers so what do we do we just click on control f so if you're on a macbook it's command f 
for control F and then age is already in a number so we need to do anything about that but then about the gender which is male female we need to convert that so let's say uh, male is 2 yeah yeah male is 2 and then we replace all so all the males have been you know they now they encode so it's 2 now we have the remaining which is female which is f e 2 so because yeah so we can just f e 2 and then we call that as 1 and replace all so now the the gender is now converted into numbers we can do some statistics with this maybe high square or whatever we'd like uh, now we look at the responses so it's sometimes very often never you know so again here we need to convert them into numbers so that we can have some decent scores so we press control f again and for uh, uh, never yeah we will say one okay so never is one and then uh, the next one would be uh, yeah so the next uh, one that we're looking for is sometimes so that will be um, so very often never sometimes would be two yeah so we'll replace them all and then the other one would be uh, very often very often so that's going to be uh, three yeah so we're going to replace that all then the last one is regularly yeah so that's going to be four and we're going to replace all so there you have it uh, we've converted all the data that we had into numbers so now we can do all the statistics that we'd like to do with it yeah so now the next part we're going to look at how we're going to enter this data into a software so uh, now we have we have the data that we've uh, we've collected and everything is in numbers most of the things that we want are in numbers now there's this software called uh, pspp now this is available in windows as well i think and mac as well so i will uh, try and uh, put the link in the description where you can go look at it the thing about this uh, particular software is that it's a free software so it's uh, so you don't have to pay anything for it and uh, it does not require any license or anything like that and um, you know anyone can download it it's uh, and it has all the functions almost all the functions quite similar to all the functions that spss has yeah so that's uh, one of the things about it and SPSS you need a license for using that but this one is free yeah so here we open it and uh, you have very similar if you used SPSS you know you have the data view and the variable view and it can do uh, all the statistics that uh, you would like to do uh, ANOVA, high square um, regression all the other things so now we're going to import our data now important thing to note here is that uh, we need to save our data in the .csv format. So this uh, software only opens uh, certain formats. So you need to save it when the Excel file, you need to save it in .csv format. So, so we go and import the data. Mm, so this is our data over here. We just click on it, click next, 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 till we get the data. So here we have it. Uh, you need to remove the timestamp if you want, clear the variables. And in the variable view, you can label it, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, that, that's up to you. So I'm not going to go into how to uh, like label and all of that. So here you have all the data that you collected. Yeah. And you didn't have to enter the data manually looking at the interview schedule or otherwise. So it saves a lot of time. So it's only 50 here, 51. But then let's say you have about... Uh, 150 or 200 respondents or even 400 respondents or even a thousand so this is a faster way to enter the data you know so yeah um i hope you like the video uh, this is especially useful for students who are doing a basic statistical analysis collecting data and if you're running short of time you know so you could use this uh, technique thanks for watching have a nice day